before, which I'm really excited about because I haven't done a video like this before. But I wanted to mention a few things before we got started. And first off, I wanted to apologize for not uploading a video in a really long time because when I was filming this video, my family was actually moving. So if you've ever moved before, you probably realize that it takes a lot of time. So I'm sorry about that. But I have a lot more videos planned that should be coming up soon. So stay tuned for those. And second off, I wanted to mention that my room is really girly, so if that's not your style, I wouldn't recommend watching this video because you probably wouldn't like it. But if it is your style, then hopefully you like the video. And if you do, of course, be sure to thumbs it up because that would be really nice of you. And lastly, I wanted to mention that I'm not in any way trying to brag about the stuff I have in my room. I am really thankful for it, but I'm not trying to show it off either. So, yeah, now that I've said all that I wanted to say, let's get into the video. So here's what the doorway to my room looks like from far away. And then on the other side of my door, I like to keep my purse because I just feel like whenever we go into town, it's super convenient to just grab that off the handle and I can always put that there. And then it won't ever be on the floor making my room look messy. So I really like to do that. And then right beside it, I have this super cute mirror. It used to be gold actually. And then my mom helped me to spray paint it white. So I just love it. It has like a super girly, antique-ish type of look. And I really like it. Yes, I'm recording from my mom's phone because it actually has better quality than my camera. But anyways, moving on, there's this little nightstand beside my bed. And this is antique too. Um, you can tell I've had it for a long time because it has a ton of scratches on it. But anyways, inside of it, back here I have like a keychain, which is actually really weird because I don't even have a key. I have like an etch and sketch. I have a library card. I, and then I don't really even know what that is, but... And then beside it, I have two little flashlights, and then I have a chapstick, and then a little lotion, because I like to use those real quick before I go to bed at night. Then beside it, I have a retainer, and then under it, I have my library card, another one. And then in here, I keep my pens and pencils, and then my lighter. Right over here, I keep my eyeglass cases, because um, the one under here is for my old glasses that I used to have, and then the one on top is for my glasses that I have right now. Right here, I have my journal, and as you can see, it's owls, and I really love owls. I might have already told you that, but I just love them, so of course it's owls. And then right here is a really neat thing. It's actually a remote to a light that I have in my closet, and then you can control it to make it whatever color you want. So I'll go show you what it does real quick. Okay, so here's a light in my closet, and um, as you can see, you can get it to change whatever colors you want. I think it's really neat, and you can also do modes, like they have here flash, and as you can see, that makes it change to the next color. They have um, strobe, and this is kind of neat, and they have smooth, and this is like the lighting on the So, yeah, I think I spent most of the room toy showing you what this light does, but it's pretty cool. So, anyways... Moving on, on top of my nightstand, I have a very antique lamp, and I believe I got it from Hobby Lobby. It's not my favorite, but I got it a long time ago. And beside my nightstand, I have my bed, obviously, and I love my bed frame because it kind of reminds me of, like, the Cinderella carriage. I don't know why, but anyways, I really love that. And then, obviously, on top of my bed frame sits my bed. And then my favorite part, which is my comforter. And I just love this one because it's super girly and fluffy. I don't know if fluffy is the right adjective, but it's just super pretty. And I got this from Bed Bath & Beyond, but I've seen it everywhere. You can get it from Target or online. And I've seen it in a lot of different colors. So it's definitely something I would recommend you getting if you're looking for a new comforter. So beside my bed, I have a Christmas... So beside my bed, I have a little Christmas tree in the corner, and I get asked a lot why I have a Christmas tree up all year round, um, but that's because I love the colors of it, and I also really love the ornaments. So yeah, um, beside my Christmas tree, I have these little shelves, well, not little shelves, they're actually pretty big, but I got them from... Target, I think, and the cubes are also from Target, and then on this row, I have a lot of books. They're actually more like my smaller books that I keep here, and then I have this little candle that I made a couple of years ago. It's actually made out of wax sand because it's actually just normal candle wax, but it's supposed to look like sand, so yeah, you just layer it, and it can look super cool, so I really like that, and then under here, I have this little 
to-do list that I made and it's actually just a picture frame and I put a piece of paper under it. And then on here I just have all my Little House in the Prairie books and then my Nancy Drew books. And that's it for that shelf. And then on the next one up here I have a lot of magazines. I'm sort of like a magazine hoarder, but on top of that I have my piggy bank and it's super cute. I actually don't use it to put money in. It's just for decoration. And then beside that I have this little mason, um, not mason jar, it's just a normal jar that I have for decoration. And I made it for Christmas, that's why there's like bells on it. And then it also has some twine and then some lace. And then under that shelf, I have this one, obviously. And in the corner, there's just a little jewelry box. And then beside it, I have a candle that I cleaned out. And then I put some beads in it. And then I also put some lip glosses inside. And then a little owl on top because it's actually a lip balm and I didn't have anywhere else to put it. Beside that, I have this little... The lighting's really weird. Sorry about that. I just have this little ice cream cone that I painted a couple years ago because where I live there's this little place that you can go where they have like glass figures and then they let you paint it so I really like that and then under it I have an empty shelf because I like to have an empty shelf so I can like, lay out my clothes for the next day and put them there and yeah I just really like having that and that's pretty much it for those and then when you go a little farther you can see I have a bean bag right there and this is also from Target. Apparently a lot of my furniture is from Target. Well, this isn't really furniture, but you know what I mean. Anyways, it's super cute. It has, it, I just feel like it really brings in all the colors of my room because all of the colors are pretty much on that bean bag as well. Then beside my bean bag, I have a closet, obviously, and that's not really too interesting. So right beside that, I have a magnet board, and this is probably my favorite part of my room because I just love how you can personalize it. And to be honest, so I haven't put anything on it in maybe like two years. But um, anyways, these are like the magnets that came with the magnet board. And then I just made these little button ones, and then these ones are pretty cheesy. They're made out of duct tape. But anyways, I just like them because they're super colorful, and yeah, that is it for my room tour. Okay guys, real quick, I want you to try to guess in the comment section how many blades you think this fan has. It's actually a unique number, so I want you to guess down below, and then we can see if you guessed correctly. So I hope you liked the video, and if you did and you would like more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. The link will be in the description box if you're interested. And like I said earlier, I have more summer videos coming up, so stay tuned for those if you would like. And that's all I have to say, so I'll see you next week. Bye!